When we first arrived, there was a car that crashed into a telephone pole a few hours earlier. This is something we're going to want to shoot just to show how bad the driving conditions really are. I walk up a quarter of the hill to get cars as they drive down. Notice that I make sure everything goes into frame. I'll follow the car as it goes down the hill. You should also remember to try and shoot with your ears. Listen to your surroundings. Find things that make noise. I heard this bus behind me and I'll quickly turn around and shoot it. People really don't know how to drive here in the snow. I'll grab a few artsy shots, a couple of buses going into frame, some more artsy shots. If I shoot a sign, I try to make sure that it's helping tell the story. Here's a quick establishing wide shot. There are some skiers going down the hill. I'll try to follow the action. It didn't really work out that way. Another car is driving down the hill and starts to lose control. I'll get the action, but unfortunately, I forget to get the reaction of somebody witnessing it firsthand. Here's another artsy locator shot. There's a woman walking up the hill with some luggage. I'll try to shoot her going in a frame. Then I'll quickly run up to her and shoot tights of the wheels. Hear that? Great net. I'll ask her an open-ended question like, that? how's it going? The airport shuttle could not get up to get me today. <laughs> I'll ask her a few more questions and then go back to the wheels to get some more gnats just in case. I'll get a ground shot of a car going into frame. At this point, you should start seeing a pattern in my shooting. I see a couple of women to the left of me off camera putting salt on the ground. They start talking to me, which gives me the opportunity to put a mic on them. Come on, no, you already, you, you came up to me. After some terrible convincing, they finally agree to go on camera with me. This is what you do. You, you can't be friendly to people, because then you get they want something from you. I gotta tell Kyle. Have we're you just on put TV. this in your pocket? I'll shoot from a distance and tell them to ignore me, basically becoming a fly on the wall. I'll ask them a few questions. What are you guys doing? And then I'll move up to them. I'll get a tight shot of them salting the ground and gather some great gnats. I ask them the question: Are they prepared? We're better prepared than the city. And that's really the only sound I'll need. A few more locator shots. Into frame shots. Just constantly shooting and moving. I see this guy sledding down the hill, so I run up to him before he goes. I will quickly take off my wide angle lens. By quickly, I mean struggle. I will zoom in and get the action. And there is reaction to that action. We head up to Cary Park and see a woman who's drinking an ice drink and we have to ask her questions about that. An establishing shot of Seattle. We see a mom with her kids sledding. We put mics on both her and her son to get their perspective of the snow day. What you won't see is I put a GoPro on the kid's sled so I'll have another shot to work with. I'll follow the action as he falls. We'll then quickly interview the mom and then get reaction from the kid. What? What did you think? It was fun. Kind of hurt. <laughs> we move down the street and we see another road closed off. I'll shoot a few establishing hey, shots. We've seen him. And then we'll interview this man. I use a little bit of foreground yeah. background for this interview. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I move behind the man so I can get a perspective shot of the hill. And then this happens. Oh. Ooh! You okay? Action, reaction, all in one shot. Yeah. We'll then head to where they keep the snow plows to get some video of that. At our live shot location, I kept hearing kids screaming. 
I turn around and see this. Another into frame, out of frame. And there you have it. Here's the story. Oh, it's pretty much ghost town, which is kind of nice. Two words. Snow day. <laughs> Today is an epic snow day for Seattle. Wow. They mean different okay. things. It was fun. To different people. Kind of hurt. All the schools closed. Tons and tons of kids screaming everywhere, which is, I think, how it should be. That white glow warms some hearts today. The airport shuttle could not get up <laughs> to get me today. Chilled others. Horrific. <laughs> horrific, very horrific. That's three horrifics to describe some city roads. I just think uh, a lot of individuals are just expecting that their cars are just impervious to the conditions. I mean, as you can see, it uh, looks like the inside of my refrigerator. Yes, Mount Queen Anne might have been a popular spot, Ooh. but the trails, Ooh. not so much. You okay? Seattle prioritized its snow response. We better prepare than the city. Putting down a brine mix on main arterials, which really didn't make an impact until early afternoon. Three dozen plows did the rest. The state had a hundred more working the freeways. It left a lot of people. It is a little bit of a problem. On ice. And I'm from uh, California. So this is my second week in Seattle. Maybe later I start drinking hot coffee. <laughs> and depending on how you see it. This complete city shutdown. There is potential more good news. Oh, yeah. Or bad news. <laughs> you idiot. Two words. More snow. <laughs>